Welcome back to the Dragonfly Garage. This time, we've got a sweet C8 Corvette build. So get in, buckle up, burn some rubber, and let's kick some glass. Thanks for joining me today. This is a 2019 C8 Corvette in Rapid Blue Launch Edition. This is the short version of this build. In the description below, I've got a link to the long version. The only difference is I didn't make it go so fast and I do a lot less talking in the long version. So if you don't like hearing me talk, switch over to that one. I waited for so long for this car to come out and I really wanted to build my own so here's my attempt. It was far cheaper than the real thing and the auto insurance rates are really good. Sometimes the most tedious part of a project is just trying to get the darn image lined up. So we are on our way. As you can see, I move at an incredible speed, so don't be intimidated. The thing with this project is all about the details and can I line up the different shades, the different light tones with the corresponding place on the car and also in cuts that are not going to take away from the overall lines. This was my second Corvette. This was a 1957 Corvette. One of our customers who had purchased art from us before got a hold of me and asked me to do a commission for her husband as a surprise anniversary gift. I used to do pet mosaics, and I will include car mosaics when I say this. When you are crafting an image of somebody's something, it just is that much more added pressure because they're so familiar with it. Any little flaw they're gonna notice, if it doesn't look quite right, they are gonna tell you. It definitely brings a different level of scrutiny versus just making art for say an art show or even an abstract piece of art for a customer. The challenging part of this project was following all the lines and making sure that I'm keeping the car true to its form. I felt more like a stained glass artist at times versus a mosaic artist because I had to do a lot of tracing my lines and making marks and following those versus having pieces and making the pieces follow the line. One of the things I was challenging myself with in this project is perspective and trying to get the pieces to have that trail off effect like you would see in a picture.
as I get to working on the tires here, one of the challenge I faced in this area was how do you give depth with black? And so a lot of times you're using a little bit of gray, but even that can translate as, oh, there's gray in there. So I used a combination of perspective technique and making the pieces just work a little different. And I thought it turned out really good. Here I'm starting to work on the glass, the windshield, the windows, what have you. It was a tough decision whether I use clear like I ended up using in the headlights or black. It just is, I guess, maker's preference. And I went with black, I'm happy with that choice. I think it translates and to the eye, it passes the eye test for me. And it just was a nice addition to give some authenticity to the car. With the headlights going with clear, when the light comes through during the day, that really adds a nice little touch. You really get that feeling of lights beaming through the headlights versus having a black or opaque glass there instead. As I begin work on the Corvette logo, I really curse my big fingers. Trying to work in such an intricate space can be quite the challenge, but I was happy with the results on this one. Due to unseen errors on my part, whether through laziness or just forgetting to film, I neglected to film myself creating the background, which is just basically a standard mosaic white but I did not film it so you're just gonna have to accept these pictures of the final product the first one is with the light coming through that would be your day view the second one is the light directly on the piece or how the art would look at night I want to thank you so much for joining me in the dragonfly garage today I have lots more videos on the way, so stay tuned. Go ahead and hit that like button for me. And then smash that subscribe. Hey, don't forget to check us out on all the socials.